The controversial Age of Kanchuran by Jason Aaron ended a few days ago with a disappointing finale, showing the Avengers defeating God Kanchu and Moon Knight. The run started in book number 33 and finished in book number 37. The story revolves around God Kanchu, who saw a vision in which Mephisto invaded the world. To prevent that from happening, he set out his fist Moon Knight to steal the powers and the abilities of his fellow Avengers. Moon Knight fought and defeated Iron Fist, who is widely considered as one of the greatest martial artists in comics history, and stole the power of the Iron Fist. He then confronted and defeated Doctor Strange and stole his Eye of Agamotto. He then stole the Spirit of Vengeance, and with that, Moon Knight possessed the powers of Iron Fist, Doctor Strange, and the Ghost Rider, and ended up confronting all Father Thor, who recently became the King of Asgard, on the moon. Thor didn't take it easy on the man who took down his fellow Avengers and hurled his hammer at Moon Knight. Shockingly enough though, Moon Knight controlled Mjolnir, saying that the hammer is made of moon rock, which he can't control. Moon Knight pounded on the helpless King Thor with his own hammer. He then knocked him away in space, and then used the Eye of Agamotto to call the moons from galaxies away, and crushed Thor with them. Moon Knight put King Thor to sleep for the whole run, as he didn't make any appearance until the last issue. In the final battle against Ganshu, Black Panther overpowered and defeated Moon Knight. Moon Knight remembered that during his presence on the moon, he met Nick Fury, who turned into the Watcher known as the Unseen. Fury told Moon Knight that he has been praying for the wrong god, and that he should pray for a more powerful god. Moon Knight reached out to a very powerful cosmic entity and became the host of the force known as the Phoenix. He eventually realized that he was blinded and used by Kanshu to destroy his fellow Avengers. Enraged, the Phoenix Moon Knight attacked Kanshu, who was trying to steal the power of the baby star brand, believing that it was the last missing piece to obtain the needed power to defeat Mephisto. After obtaining the incredible power of the Phoenix Force, Moon Knight became torn between his unbreakable desire to purge the Earth and destroy the human civilization on one side, and his feeling of guilt that this would be considered a genocide on the other. He realized for the very first time that he lost his mind. He needed the Phoenix power to defeat Kanshu, but he is not the Phoenix, and this is not the saga of the Dark Moon Knight. Meanwhile, Thor recovered and summoned his hammer. He emerged and said that Moon Knight disrespected the hammer of old father Thor and will pay for that, and Moon Knight said that he deserves the beating he was going to get, and at that moment, and before turning the page, I knew that Moon Knight was going to lose, but I was still expecting to see a real fight. As usual, Jason Aaron didn't fail to disappoint and didn't show any fight between King Thor and the Phoenix Moon Knight. We just saw Moon Knight defeated with broken bones after he crashed on Earth, assuming that Thor managed to defeat him. Aaron left the door open for many interpretations, but after thinking it over for a couple of days, my verdict is that Moon Knight decided not to fight Thor and let him beat him into submission, which forced the Phoenix to abandon Moon Knight. Moon Knight was confused and torn, and when Thor came back for the rematch, Moon Knight said that he deserves the beating he was going to get, which meant that he wasn't going to fight back and was gonna let Thor destroy him. In fact, King Thor was lucky that Moon Knight decided to drop his defenses and stopped fighting, otherwise Moon Knight would have destroyed Thor, who has lost to the Phoenix hosts on many occasions. In the Avengers vs. X-Men run, and when the Phoenix Force returned to Earth, Thor was among those who confronted the Phoenix in space and tried to stop it, but he failed and was eventually beaten and knocked back to Earth, where he ended in a crater, pointing at the powerful force which beat him, namely the Phoenix. Thor's troubles didn't end at that point, as he suffered many losses against the Phoenix Five, the hosts who gained just portion of the Phoenix Force, namely Cyclops, Emma Frost, Namor, Colossus, and Magic. Each one of these avatars defeated Thor, starting with Emma Frost, the powerful telepath, who tried to get into Thor's mind, but he just retaliated and summoned the lightning and struck her. Emma, however, tanked the blast, as her diamond form makes her virtually tireless, and her power was amped after bonding to the phoenix. Thor, however, didn't stop his assault and shattered Emma's body with his hammer. 
The God of Thunder thought that he finished Emma, but what goes up eventually comes back down. The shreds of Emma's body, which were launched into space, began falling back to Earth. They ripped Thor's body and reassembled on the ground. Emma pounded on the injured Thor, stating that the phoenix power inside her can't be easily beaten. She pounded on the helpless Thor who couldn't even defend himself against the godly power. Emma knocked Thor unconscious and left saying that she was hoping for something with a little more thunder. The same scenario was repeated with every single member of the Phoenix Five. Cyclops easily stopped Thor's charge and blocked his hammer with his finger or with a touch before blasting him away. Colossus and Magic also beat Thor before dropping him into a volcano. When the Avengers joined forces and attacked the Phoenix Namor, they pounded on him from all sides and thought that they put him down once and for all, but Namor was seemingly toying with them. He retaliated and easily broke Red Hulk's arm and then used his body to knock everyone around away, then knocked the thing down with a single punch before burning the heroes with the Phoenix Force. Thor, however, hit Namor with the hammer from behind, vowing that he will put him down, but Namor overpowered Thor, as we see in this panel here, and that's when the Scarlet Witch intervened and used her chaos magic to fight Namor. She collapsed, but not before stripping Namor of the Phoenix Force. In Wolverine and the X-Men number 12, and as part of the Avengers vs. the X-Men story, we see Thor fighting the Phoenix Namer, who easily drops the hammer from Thor. The fight then was interrupted, only to see Thor attacking Rachel Gray, aka Marvel Girl, who was fighting Captain America. Thor felt that Rachel was trying to invade his mind, and said that she would kill herself doing that or would be driven mad, cause he is a god, and his mind is not a place for a mortal. Rachel, however, blocked his attack and said that she was the phoenix for years, and she was a god as well, so gods don't scare her, no matter the size of the hammer. She used her incredible psychic powers and created a hammer to knock Thor down. Namor then took the fight from there and pounded on Thor. In the far future, Old Father Thor fought the Phoenix Wolverine, who spent millennia walking the spaceways, stabbing old stars that needed to put out of their misery, and burning black holes. But he was mad that Thor brought life back to planet Earth, which was barren and dead for ages. Thor didn't know that by making Earth live again, he attracted the attention of the godly Doctor Doom. Wolverine attacked Old Father Thor who didn't want to fight back at first and thought that Wolverine was driven mad by the Phoenix Force. But the powerful Wolverine was no more Logan or even the Phoenix. He has become a thing made of rage and fire. Wolverine was about to blind Thor, who summoned his hammer and punctured Wolverine's body from behind. Thor thought that he finished Wolverine who was left with a big hole in his chest, but the immortal mutant attacked again and overpowered Thor. Wolverine knocked Thor down then stabbed him with his claws, remarking that he doomed the Earth by making it live again, as he got the attention of scarier forces than the Phoenix Wolverine himself. However, they eventually put their differences aside and joined forces to defeat Doctor Doom. So based on this review, we can conclude that the Phoenix Force is beyond Thor, who has been defeated by the hosts who only gained portion of the great power. Back to our topic. The Phoenix Moon Knight allowed Thor to beat him, cause if he really wanted to fight back, then he would have defeated Thor, who would get beaten again, the way he was beaten against the Phoenix Five. Old Father Thor didn't fare better against the Phoenix Wolverine, so this Thor wasn't gonna fare better if Moon Knight decided to fight back, taking into consideration that Moon Knight defeated Thor with the stolen powers of Iron Fist, Doctor Strange, and Ghost Rider, even before bonding with the Phoenix. So yeah, the Phoenix Moon Knight would defeat Thor, but he just decided not to fight, and eventually gave Thor the win. I hope that next time, Jason Aaron will work harder on final confrontations. He should have showed the Phoenix Moon Knight beating the Avengers to within an inch of their lives, for example, before realizing that he was fighting on the wrong side and gives up. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.